again. This is another video to show you not only an update of the Thieves Oil Soap, which I made two batches of on the same day, as a matter of fact, but to show you the difference when you work with natural colorants, the, the alchemy of how things can occur. And to show you what I mean, this first batch here, Both batches were made the same day, and they were both made with organic clove as the colorant. In this batch, I did it just like I normally do with any of my colorants. I infused it into some oil, and I added it once I had already put in my lye water. And it made it just the regular size of, of my loaf pan, and the color is a very light terracotta orange brown. It did not thicken up and it was very easy to pour into the mold, just like usual. However, the second batch, I also used clove, but as you can see, the bars are smaller, the color is way more intensely brown, and that's because I added the infused clove before I put in the lye water solution. And as soon as I put in the lye water, it started to thicken immediately. And it became so thick, it was really hard to actually put it into the mold. I had to scoop it in there. And it made, even though it's the same recipe and the same amount of oils and butters in both, it made it condensed down much, much smaller. The scent is still the same on both. It's just the difference between the colors. This is a way more intensely brown, more terracotta brown, whereas the other one is lighter. And the difference of being able to pour it rather than using a spoon and spooning it into the mold. I really don't know why I tried it both ways. I just wanted to see as an experiment because I see a lot of other videos where they where people add the colorants in before their lye water. So I was just kind of curious to see what would happen. I'm going to make another video soon about the alchemy of soap making in general. Especially with natural colorants. How things can shift colors on you. And how it can make your batter thicken up. And all of the strange things and wonderful things that happen when you mix certain oils and plants and herbs and things together. Both these batches of Thieves Oil Soap will be in the next shop update, which is June 5th for the Strawberry Full Moon, although the one on the right will probably be priced a little bit lower since the bars turned out a little bit smaller. And as my previous video showed you, if you don't know about Thieves Oil Soap, please look it up. It's a blend of five wonderful beneficial herbs and spices. It's clove, cinnamon, orange, eucalyptus, and rosemary. And it's been used for a very long time as a natural way to kill germs, especially off your hands. So this makes a very good soap for this time with the virus going around and lots of repeated hand washings. My bars are made with unrefined shea butter and cocoa butter. <laughs> So they are very luxurious and creamy. Shop links will be listed below. Thank you so much for watching.